G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Meet the Robinsons. I have no sort of first impressions going into this film other than the fact that the title sort of gives away that the movie is going to be based on a family perhaps. I know that this one is a 3D film in terms of like the animation style. Some of my favorite Disney movies were like Treasure Planet and Atlantis and those ones were 2D mixed with 3D. I'm very interested to see how this movie looks compared to those. You know whether the movie is focused on a family, whether whether there's some sort of like strange sort of family dynamics going on through the film. I'm very curious to see what it's all about. Just a quick reminder, these are all up on Patreon. If you want to get your own copy and watch along with me, please subscribe if you want to help the channel grow. I want to see if we can get to 100,000 by the end of the year. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh no, is this going to be like a tragic start to the movie? The orphanage? Oh gosh. Oh. I wonder what the story behind that is. Oh, a little burrito. Wow, just like that, gone. Seems happy in her arms. Okay, time jump, just like that, okay. All those years that I went for Halloween, I wasn't scary at all. Look at this guy with the bags under his eyes. I love baseball. <laughs> It's my destiny to play that game. We've lost every game. I've gotten tired of it. <laughs> There's so much going on. There's this guy creating something and this kid talking about baseball. Right, so this kid's what I'm assuming is some sort of little genius, maybe. Lewis? Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course he aimed it at himself. Nothing says adopt me like a weird invention. Lewis, the Harrington's like Where do you, Mildred? Sit up straight. Look them in the eye. Go show them how special you are. Aww. I hope he gets adopted. You and me both, Chief. Aww, that's nice. With some imagination and a little science, we can make the world a better place. Dang, I like this kid. So, what's your favorite sport? Well, does Oh, they're not gonna be supportive. What's the number one problem that you face when you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Um, Lewis? Uh, I have to use two knives. You want peanut butter to stick through with your mouth? Oh. Takes forever to chew. Pushes out the sides and makes your hands all sticky. I've built this machine to achieve it. Toasting uh... is not. We don't usually eat peanut butter. Oh, is he allergic? Oh no! It's jammed. No, dude, just get out of the room. Oops. Oh no! Stand back. Ah. <laughs> nice. Is it gonna be okay? Wait. That could be really bad. We're gonna need some time to think about it. It's okay, buddy. You dodged a bullet. They weren't even interested in your gifts and stuff. Boy, is definitely not right for us. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> oh, this poor kid. He probably just wants to be appreciated for who he is, right? Poor Mr. Harrington. I killed him? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's a way to start a sentence. It's too bad he didn't get to try a sandwich from that wonderful invention of yours. 124. Aww. That's how many adoption interviews I've had. Come on now, you're exaggerating just to make your... Aww, dude. Yeah, he really cares. I have no future. No one wants me. <gasps> My own mother didn't even want me. Now stop it. He may not have been able to take care of you. Yeah, exactly. It was probably a decision made out of love, actually. And if she wanted me then, she'll want me now. Oh no, dude. She'll take me back and we'll be a family again. You can't do that. No one knows anything about her. No one even saw her. Yeah. I saw her. He's in here. I just have to remember. Fire out, dude. All right. I guess you would have to have that kind of mind, right, as an inventor to just jump straight to another task and be like, let's go. Like, you'd have to have that sort of attitude. I love his determination, though. I love the style so far. It's it's very interesting. Very different to a lot of movies I've watched. I'm surprised none of these people that interview him are like looking into his profile before seeing him and being like, okay, this guy is crazy passionate about inventing things. <laughs> yeah, I bet he's like the worst roommate, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, they prepared very well for that. Who's funding him? Is 
definitely not your typical teenager. So tired. Good luck at the big game today. Easy win. I just hope I could stay awake. Who's up all night working on his stupid project? <laughs> I know, right? Why didn't he get his own room? <laughs> I need coffee. I've scheduled an interview for you this afternoon. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. I'm done with interviews, Mildred. But I'm telling you, you have got to get out of the past and look to the future. This is it. This is my future. No, that's... You're looking into the past. <laughs> I, th I thought good for him that he doesn't care anymore about what people think. But then I realize it's because he's he thinks he's found the person, his mom. I just don't get out of that lab very much. I haven't slept in eight days. Uh, <laughs> I can tell. I've got the caffeine patch. Whoa. My invention. You can stay awake for days with no side effects. Ah! Sorry, who's this? <laughs> That sounds like a side effect. What are you doing here? Judge of the science fair. And what makes you qualify? <laughs> the chest! The awesome power of Mount Vesuvius! Aww. Barium Cobalt Einstein Kool-Aid! I don't know. <laughs> Who is this scientist chick? <gasps> okay. You good, Nate? <laughs> Fire ant farm. That's right. <gasps> Lizzie, we talked about the fire ants. Whoa. Only my enemies. Damn, she from the Adams family? Ah! This area's not secure. Have you been approached a tall man in a bowler hat? What? <laughs> Special Agent Wilbur Robinson of the TCTF. The what? I'm I'm so confused. He's a suspect in a robbery. What do he steal? A time machine. A what? You're a smart kid. That might keep you alive. For now. <laughs> Just worry about your little sign. Is this guy telling the truth? Bowler hat guy. Aw, <laughs> poor kid. Kid. You almost busted my solar system. My frogs are getting away. Mate, this movie's so chaotic so far. Whoa, okay. Hello. That's a... What the heck? <laughs> Is that the guy he was talking about? <laughs> An actual flying bowler hat? <laughs> No wonder he called him the bowler hat guy. What the heck is that? I don't have time for this. <laughs> I'm on a very important mission. Don't sass me. Nah. No cry. Come on, Bukowski. <laughs> yeah, get him. I won't let you down. I promise. All right, Lewis. Does he not test them multiple times? This next project will knock your socks off. Have you ever forgotten something? You couldn't remember it? Once oh, no. It. Is he going to sabotage it? Ugh. I call it the memory scanner. Oh, it's shiny. <laughs> it's always good if it's shiny. You input the desired period of time on this keypad. It scans the cerebral cortex where memories are stored. Dude, I swear if he gets cancer in like 20 years. I'm going back 12 years, three months, and 11 days. Why that particular day? That was the day, um, let's just say that was a very important day in my life. What, is he's gonna show it to them? Oh boy. Oh, cool. Well, all that from just having a little less support. Oh work. no, not now. What's in it? Oh. <laughs> the way he's running around. Let us conduct ourselves in a way that we'll all be proud of. The way she's standing there. I'm so sorry. Not now. Oh. Okay, Dang, this kid doesn't catch a break. Dude, you just gotta keep Wait, trying. Ah, uh, It was literally working. It just unraveled, man. That's literally just a duct tape kind of job. <laughs> <laughs> Come, my dear. Our future awaits. My dear? I don't like this guy's proportions. It's so creepy. Oh, This is actually so sad, man. He just wants love. Oh, dude. It's not a very efficient way to do it, but don't give that up, man. It's literally just rattling. Ah, <laughs> who's this? You didn't see me. <laughs> Who is this kid? 
I know you're not a pigeon. Shh. You're blowing my cover. We're the only ones up here. That's just what they want you to think. They. Take this back to the science fair and fix that memory scanner. You stole a time machine, came to the science fair, and ruined your project. My project didn't work because I'm no good. You're crazy. Ho oh, ho, I am not crazy. Prove it. Uh, I mean, I'd believe him if it wasn't for everything else happening, right? If I prove to you I'm from the future, will you go back to the science fair? Whatever you say. Hey, let go of me. Would Dude. You know, let go of me. Okay. <laughs> A murder. Oh. Oh, oh, there it is. That's awesome, dude. Look at that. Shiny. I thought he was going to go through like a portal or something. To the future. Uh, what? Are we? Is this, is this actually happening? I feel like this movie's escalating a lot. Damn. All right. Interesting architecture. Insta building. Bro, what? I, I'm surprised there's not more buildings then. Not only is the future more sophisticated, we have world peace. Everyone's happy. <laughs> this is so cool. This looks like an 80s sort of uh, representation of the future. Is proof enough for you? Is it ever? This is beyond anything I could have imagined. I'm not going to fix that stupid memory scanner. Aww. And you can take me to see my mom now in this ship. Uh, Yikes, he's actually got a good point there. You want to know what I think about this? What are you doing? You don't know what I've lived through. Bro. No. Let go. He just took over his vehicle? Who is this kid? I'm 13. That makes me older. Well, I was born in the past. It's the older and the boss of you. I mean, that's true. Oh, my gosh. Dude, for a smart kid, that was a pretty dumb choice to make. I'm not allowed to look at this thing, let alone drive it. There's only two time machines in existence, and the bowler hat guy has the other one. Somebody's gonna have to fix this. You're smart. Yeah, you do it. You ruined it. I fix it. You take me back to see my mom. Didn't even follow through on our last deal. Yeah. You told me you were a time cop from the future. Touche. I mean, he lied, yes, but he held up his end of the bargain. Oh boy, this has got really complicated. I mean, that would be pretty cool though, to be stuck in the future, right? Ah, look how miserable it is in the present. <laughs> they obviously figured out a lot of things, didn't they? Other than just how to build things easier. So what is this character up to? I must speak with the man in charge. Yes, sir. I have an appointment with destiny. <laughs> with destiny. Uh, are you talking to me? Yes. What time is your appointment? Her big hand is on. Oh, two o'clock. <laughs> he had to figure it out. Mary is short for. Marion. <clears throat> That'd be a boy name. Yes. Then yes. <laughs> <laughs> then yes. I'm very surprised by <gasps> what? Is my own. Who is this guy? He was so evil and intimidating before. A hat without a head couldn't really pass off an invention as its own. Great idea. I'm so glad I have you. Oh, boy. Oh, that's intimidating. Oh, I got it. Prepare to be amazed. Nice. Nice. This is my invention. <laughs> Miss Johnson? Ah, uh, it's Ms. <laughs> Ms. What I have here is special, unique. Yes, yes, you must love it and buy it. <laughs> I'd be terrified if this guy was running towards me. You want to lean forward, mate? Could you lean forward just a little bit, please? Thank you. Crush the dreams of a poor little orphan boy. After that, it's uh, a little... Whoa. What does he have against this kid? This movie is so odd. Hmm. It's... You should have figured this out. You can't pass off as the inventor unless you've tried it. Ah, oh, this guy. Ooh. <laughs> Where do I sign? Dang. Well done, mate. Well done. Watch. 
success is still ours for the taking. Find that boy. <laughs> He's riding. We'll sneak this thing into the garage. Mom never goes in there, and Dad's on a business trip until tomorrow morning. I'm gonna need some blueprints or something for this. Dude has till tomorrow morning to fix this. What's up with the stolen time machine? Managed to bust this one as well. Who's that? Wow, a real robot. Hey, I'm Lewis. Ah! Uh, you good, mate? Ah! To the way his neck gets so long. That was unexpected. As was that. <laughs> I want that hat, man. The way it's all holding together. Your hair's a dead giveaway. Where are you going? Another excellent question. I don't just want to sit here. Stay. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Bro. He should know by now this kid's just going to do whatever he wants. Yeah. Ah, Robinsons. Right, so this is the family. Okay. Hey, ring my doorbell. Whoa. <laughs> That was accidental. That's an accidental ring. It doesn't count. What are these guys? What on earth? By leaving the garage door unlocked, you let the time machine get stolen. The entire time stream could be altered. And someone took my bike. <laughs> That's the important thing. What about taking him back to see his mom? I just told him that to buy some time. Didn't see that one blowing up in your face. Yeah, exactly. That's gonna bite him in the butt later, I imagine. There's a 99.9999% chance that you won't exist. Whoa! That's actually horrifying. What am I worried about now? Blueprint? <laughs> it's a shame he doesn't, like, go through different possibilities. The odds, right? What's your name, Fruithead? Well, Lewis. You haven't seen any teeth around here, have you? Teeth. Uh, Ugh. Digging holes all day. You were digging in your garden for them? I know a shortcut. Welcome to the garage. Hiya, Grandpa. Hey, Aunt Bill. <laughs> Lewis, will you give me a hand and time my race? My toy train's ready for you. Her <laughs> accent, I love it. On uh, your mark, uh, say go. How does that fit inside? Um, I win. Whoa. My brain is hurting from this. This isn't the garage. I don't think the garage is in here either. What is happening? It's Uncle Art. A real superhero? Needs a large cheese and sausage thin crust? I'll be there in 30 minutes. Ah, a pizza guy. But what are we doing up here? Looking for the garage? Yeah! Dude, lucky he didn't break his neck. Tighten up. Yes, I mean it! Children, please. That thing kind of operates like uh, his peanut butter thing. He started it! Whoa. <laughs> I'm going for a drive. That's strange. Usually takes the Harley. <laughs> That's our butler, Lefty. Yes, yeah, so he's friendly. Any idea how to get to the garage? <laughs> no, that's true. We didn't ask her yet. Who? Wilbur's mom, Franny. Oh, his mom. Hey, guys. You ask me over. Damn, all right, buddy. Never knew frogs could sing. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Perfect timing. We need someone on Maraca. <laughs> Nobody knows that. I've got a feeling we'll be reeling. You are back. That's crazy when the lead singer can stand on your head. <laughs> My teeth are back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. Right. That they're all celebrating he found his teeth. Oh. Lewis, I told you to stay in the garage. I ran into your family and I. <laughs> Pop quiz. <laughs> but Fritz and Joe are brothers. Fritz is married to Petunia. Lula and Laszlo are their children. Joe okay. is married to Billy. Mike and Demetria are twins, and I don't know who they're related to. Right. Neither do we. Go on. Neither do we. Your dad Cornelius is their son. What does Cornelius look like? Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck? Cornelius is married to Fanny. <laughs> Nobody realized you were from the past. Nope. Thank you very much. Wow. This has got to be one of the first movies where it's almost like I don't have time to react. <laughs> like, just react, let alone commentary. <laughs> so fast paced. <laughs> Dude. Oh, he's so creepy. Lewis. Lewis is my stupid roommate. Today, everyone that beat me up called me puke face. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't oh. mean to. I, I, I... So the black eyes from being punched. Mr. Steak, you're my only friend. Oh. Aim 
didn't go so well, huh? I fell asleep in the ninth inning. I missed the winning catch. Everyone will tell you to let it go and move on. Let it fester and boil inside of you. <laughs> let them fuel your actions. No! Let hate be your ally. Don't let it go. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to him. <laughs> the way he holds up his cape. Separate and look for clues. Look, my dear, look what I found. It's a stick. <sighs> Time travel residue next to DNA from Wilbur Robinson. That plus my stick. Bro. To the future. Shotgun. How is this guy still alive? His hat basically does all the thinking. I don't even know what I'm doing. Keep moving forward. And what if I can't fix this? What are we going to do? Keep moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dad's motto, Robinson Industries, leading scientific research and design factory. Oh, okay. Keep moving forward. It's what he does. Your dad invented the time machine? Okay, as you do. Prototypes two and three, not much better. Number six, 58, and they all end the same way. So he really did so many tries for years, probably. I can't take you seriously in that hat. He keeps working. <laughs> First working time machine. Then, finally, he gets it again. The second working time machine. Yeah. Is in the hand. It's way more elegant. <laughs> it's probably more efficient, too. Nice work, my friend. Yikes. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Keep moving. Don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that was your first trial run. Boys, dinner time. We better get up there. Yeah. I've got to say, though, like, you do need, like, five minutes right to yourself before you go back and try again. <laughs> that is frustrating. Sit here, but I want to look too. Oh, a mini Doris. What? It just gave birth to a tiny hat? It's so cute. It is cute. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, stop. Aha! There you are. I know. I'll blow it up. Yes! No. No, that won't work. Then he'll be dead. Yeah! <laughs> no, I'll turn him into a duck. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's so evil. But I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Really need a duck. Maybe harder than I thought. <laughs> oh my gosh, this character. Step up and strut out. Give me the symbol light. I wonder what their pay's like, those frogs. Why is the kid still here? He's just having a little confidence issue. Want me to talk to him? No, I give a mean back rub. <laughs> Where are you from, Lewis? Canada? I think you mean North Montana. It hasn't been called Canada in years. What? North Montana? He took his hat off. Oh, good idea. Do you mind? I'm afraid this isn't going to stop otherwise. So it begins. Now don't be family what? here. Fire! Oh. Ha! What? Surely that <laughs> is not the best you can. <laughs> What's happening? Your words do not threaten me, brother. Now the real battle. <laughs> the slight delay. <laughs> it's perfect. No. Oh, your meatballs are useless against me. It's time for spicy Italian sausage. His voice is perfect. <gasps> Damn! Get him! I did it. Is dinner like this every night? Yesterday we had meatloaf. <laughs> that's epic. What a family. <laughs> P, B, and J. Hey, that's just like... I just figured it out. <laughs> Carl? <laughs> is everything alright? It's so obvious now. <laughs> Their dad is him, but yeah, yeah. And he'll die if he doesn't get him back to the past, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. P, B, and J. <laughs> He can fix it because, yeah. Would really be helping us out, Lewis. Please. Come on, dude. You gotta tell us one of your jokes. Yeah, you freak. With their own little outdoor bar. Smartly dressed. Perfect. <laughs> it is pretty cool, though, that they have this whole setup for themselves. That's a good buzz. <laughs> That's a good buzz. Ah, yes. You are now under my control. I am now under your control. Oh. Don't repeat everything I say. I won't repeat everything you say. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> say excellent because I said excellent? No. Excellent. Excellent. Bro! Bro! And when the 
<laughs> this is crazy. Now there he is, that repulsive half-witted fool. <laughs> half-witted fool. Grab the boy and bring him. Well, it's just there's a million people over there, and I have little arms. Yeah. I'm just not so sure how well this plan was thought through. Exactly. Master? <laughs> Master? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic, man. Uncle Joe can't hold on much longer. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Not again. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Failed. And it was <laughs> awesome. Exceptional. <laughs> Failing, you learn. From success? Not so much. <laughs> Damn. So their whole family is like super for failure and stuff. That's amazing. What a positive influence for him. His whole relationship with failure is so negative. Oh my noggin. Hey, what are you doing? You're gonna regret this. <laughs> That's it. I wonder if I should tell Doris. No, I'm making a surprise. Uh, oh no, he's not gonna get a dinosaur from the past. <laughs> Dude. To Lewis and his brilliant failure. May it lead to success in the future. This is how you encourage a kid to keep trying. If I had a family, I'd want them to be just like you. They are, they are. So cool. So that's his wife. Okay, okay. Lewis is an orphan. Orphan? Uh, oh, oh, bro. Ah! Big boy. Uh -huh. I just watched Jurassic Park, man. Oh, Doris will be so proud of me. Why didn't you- Yeah, she's furious. <laughs> oh! No! I need him alive! Oh, that was lucky. He didn't chomp him in half. <laughs> this movie is beyond chaotic. Fire. Yes! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no! Bro drowned it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that looked like modern art. Dude just catched it like a frisbee. Bro, that's a fast T Rex. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. It's too big. Aren't you seizing the boy? <laughs> the way it held its tail. Oh, this movie's hilarious. Lewis, run! Bro. Come on, Lewis. Wow, what a shot. Dude, Lewis, that was amazing. Ah, <laughs> ah, that was great. Oh, now this T-Rex stuck in the future. Guess we made a pretty good team, huh? Yeah. Are you boys all right? Well, technically he's from your loins, so. It was so cool, mom. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's even weirder when you realize who she is to him. You all sacrificed so much for me. Well, of course. You are a special kid. The amount of support he's getting from these people compared to being an orphan is just so beautiful, man. It's exactly what he needed. Maybe Lewis could spend the night. Mom. Yeah. Anytime you want to come over, you you just come over. Oh. We love having you. You have to stay. Who'd be a better family for you than us? Wanna be a Robinson? Just like that? Wanna adopt me? I love how her husband isn't even there. <laughs> it's like we have a new son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to be honest. He let it go too far. What have you done? How could you bring him here? Don't get mad at Wilbur. He was just being a good friend. I am so sorry, but you have to go. What? 
y... I'm from the past. So what? Louis, look at me. You're, you're a great kid, and we would never do anything to hurt you. I'm sorry. Yeah, they can't even explain it. Oh, that sucks, because he thinks it's him. I'm calling your father. Wait. Yes, he can fix everything. At least go back and find my mom. Wilbur promised. I was never going to do it. I swear. <gasps> you lied? Oh. Uh. I can't believe I was dumb enough to actually believe you were my friend. I am your friend. You're grounded till you die. <laughs> till you die. Every teen's worst nightmare. This is so complex, this situation. And he thinks it's him. He thinks he's a failure. That's why they don't want him. It's a shame they couldn't explain to him the situation. All he wants to do is go back in time. We let him go, wouldn't we? Here we go. Too bad we don't have a time machine. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? To make your dream come true. We'll take you back to find your mommy. Never trust anybody who says, my mission is to make your dream come true. I hate this man. Ah, he even crossed his fingers. <laughs> Dang, that was personal. Oh wow, it's like one building that hasn't been developed yet. <laughs> First you turn this knob twice, then push this red button. What a stupid way to turn it on. Take me to see my mom now. <laughs> yeah, he's obviously lying. Crossies doesn't count. Why are you <laughs> Father of the future, inventor extraordinaire. That's not me. That's Wilbur's dad. I'm Wilbur's dad? Yes, there you go. You got it. <laughs> Who grew up to be the founder of this wretched time? This wretched time. What does that have to do with you? Ha <laughs> <gasps> <My gasps> ha. He's Goob. Yes, yes, it is I. Oh. Uh, you're still wearing the clothes? A dream of winning a little league championship. Wait, this is all over baseball? A dream that was ruined in the last inning. Oh, he was beaten up because of him. If I hadn't fallen asleep, I'd have caught the ball. Do you understand? Dang. Hey, Goop, what's up? Cool binders. Want to come over to my house today? They all hated me. <laughs> what? Cornelius <laughs> Robinson. Robinson, Robinson. Oh, this poor kid, man. It wasn't my fault. It's yours. If you wow. I devised a brilliant plan to get my revenge. That's so sad, man. Just as I was on the brink of destroying Robinson Industries. <laughs> With toilet paper. <sighs> he retreated to our villainous lair, where Doris <laughs> spun a tale of dis... <laughs> Apparently, you invented her to be a helping hat. Right. Okay, so she's actually his invention. Oh, evil AI. Didn't see her true potential. Got it. So you shut her down. Good. Good. Wait, so this hat's just using him as a means. We made the perfect team. Not exactly the perfect team, but sure. <laughs> Right, and he leaves the garage open. Stole the time machine. Thanks to that pointy-haired little kid who forgot to lock the garage door. Dang, that would suck to see. I just want to ruin your life. Goob, I had no idea. So stuck in the past. He just focused on the bad stuff when all he had to do was... Keep moving. And keep moving forward. Yeah. Take responsibility for my own life or mm -hmm. blame you. Blame you wins hands down. Oh, man. People like that exist. <laughs> nice. Come on. Yes. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes. Bye. I was going to say, I love that the building is also stuck in the past that he lived in. It's not just him. We're almost home, Christmas. Oh. Bro, that's ruthless. Through the heart. Oh no. Take a good look around, boys. Future is about to change. <laughs> I do love his quotes. You have to fix the time machine. I, I can't. <laughs> My gosh, look at those teeth. Who is oh, This is really morbid, man. Out of nowhere. His whole future is just a raising. Uh... Prepare to 
to be amazed. I call them helping hats. Oh, so they... Oh, no. They mass produce her? Doris, what's happening? I don't understand. He just wanted to ruin his future, not this. No! Dang. Yeah, of course. He was just a pawn. It's all the hat. Oh, Lewis. It's already happened. Oh, oh, they're like zombies, man. Go, go, maker! Oh, this is a horror, man. Look at this. You got this, buddy. You got this. Come on. Yeah, hot wire. Come on, mate. Oh, the fact he's fixing it this quickly. It's, it's crazy how much the future is depending on this one child. It's a giant hat! Go! Bro! Quickly! Teleport! Go to the past! Just get out of there! Dude, this is horrifying. Dude. Dude. Just teleport. <laughs> is this a Star Wars reference? This whole scene is very, uh, Revenge of the Sith. Bro, bro, just teleport. Just teleport. Why did I ever invent that stupid hat? Dude. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Take a good look around, Doris, because your future's about to change. Hey, get him. <laughs> the E's always backwards. Go. She's using you, Goob. And when she gets what she wants, she'll get rid of you. Yes. Oh. I am never going to invent you. Ooh, yes, yes. Brilliant, brilliant. Come on, Goob. I've got to show you something. It's interesting he didn't just, like, think it in his head, you know? Like, just decide not to make her and that would be enough. Doris, I thought she was my friend. Yeah, well, it's a shame who you trust, right, when you're desperate. He thought he couldn't trust anybody, right? So, of course, he trusted the hat. <laughs> nice. Oh. Hey. Oh, poor Goob. He's the bad guy. He's my roommate. You wouldn't think you guys should adopt him. Are you nuts? Yeah. Ow. Yeah, mind you, I'm your father. You have to do what I say. <laughs> I'm your father. <laughs> you have to do as I say. That's great. Goob. Goob. Oh. Goob. Wait, he was about to adopt him too? Oh. Yeah, what now? His whole life has been so vengeful and yeah, stuck in the past. And now he's like, what the heck? Mate. Yeah, I think it's going to take him a while to see something for his life other than just revenge. This is terrible. Oh, boy. Uh, Are you the time machine? <laughs> <laughs> hey, me. <laughs> <laughs> it's his fault, not me. Mm -hmm. Ratted out by the old lady. <laughs> Harsh. Well, it is all sort of your fault. <laughs> okay. Nice. Very safe environment for explosions and whatnot. Want to see the one I'm most proud of? Oh, no, no, no. That one. The one he's most proud of. Is it going to be the memory one? The one he started with? That'd be poetic. Yeah. It was our first real invention. So if I go back now, this will be my future. Mm-hmm. Nothing is set in stone. You gotta make the right choices. Mm. Keep moving forward. Yeah, there's a lot of things that will change things a little bit on the way. Finally get to see what mom looks like. Ooh. Do we ever meet her? I think you're just gonna have to get back to that science fair and find out for yourself. Ooh. That's gonna be interesting because he knows, right? See, I love that. He meets his future self and all his future self does is try to inspire him. That's a great example. <laughs> he's not secretive at all. He's just like, dude, look what he could be. Like, <laughs> Just a little tip for the future. I am always right. Wh Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. Oh my gosh, man. She's right. i just go with it if I were you. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I love that. 
the fact that he wanted them as a family and he felt disappointed that they couldn't be his current family, you know? He couldn't be adopted by them, but it, they're his future. It's just, it's good writing, you know? You're supposed to take me back to the science fair. Oh, dude, he actually held up his end of the bargain. If you fix the time machine, I'd take you back to see your mom. That's ballsy, man. Wow. And that was the sound at the start of the movie. Oh, that's so cool, man. That is honestly so cool that his son was able to take him back here and risk his own existence. And of course, now he doesn't need to see his mum because he understands he has a, fut a future, like a family in the future. It's so good, man. Yeah, mate, you made the right choice. <laughs> you got a bright future ahead of you, mate. Oh, can he, can he fix, uh, Goob here, maybe? That'd be great if he could, like, encourage him or something. I don't get it. Why'd you just let her go? I already have a family. Yeah, you do. Oh. I never thought my dad would be my best friend. That's awesome, man. Ah, that's cool. That'd be great to meet your parents as, like, the same age as you and just, like, be mates. <laughs> Oh, bro! Come on, bro! Wake up! Wake oh. up. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Come on! <laughs> That's amazing. What a change. Can I have one more chance? Please! My ride isn't here yet, so fire it up! Aww. It worked! <gasps> oh, it worked! <laughs> nice. It works! <gasps> she adopts him? You're just in time. Lucille! You no! I wish you did it! With some show you put on. <laughs> <laughs> no harm done. Frankie, what if I told you- <gasps> Oh no! No way! My name's Franny. I teach frogs music. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nobody believes me. You think I'm crazy too. I think you're right. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, that's hubby right there. <laughs> and that explains the karate, right? The local paper. You've got a bright future ahead of you. Dude, his entire future is in this room. That's crazy. His parents, his wife, opportunities, everything was right there. Let your clarity Come on, he gets adopted. Oh, this is so cute, man. Let it slide. Literally this morning, he lost all hope in his future. Oh, dude. Living it up. What incredible parents to adopt you and then just be like, here's your laboratory. <laughs> yeah, that would be the most comforting feeling you, I reckon you could possibly feel. To just be like, I've, I have my future before me right here. That's crazy. Oh. Hey, this movie's inspiring me. Way to go, man. Keep failing and keep moving forward. We keep moving forward, opening up new doors and doing new things, but curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. Walt Disney. What a way to end the movie like that. That's incredible. That was awesome. That's such a cute movie. So inspiring. That has got to be one of the most interesting combinations of just absolute mayhem mixed with such a deep message like a film mixed with such a deep sort of theme like it took itself really seriously when it needed to but then other parts were just so ridiculous i felt like i was watching a completely different kind of movie um particularly when they met the robinsons for the first time and went through the whole family like my brain was just going crazy in that scene <laughs> the characters were so cool I, I i really liked the bowl uh not the, not the bowl hat guy uh, i really liked goob i just really felt like the uh, Goob was a great opposite to Lewis in the sense that he represented what Lewis could become if he allowed himself to let failure consume him and being stuck in the past. And the movie did such a good job at representing that character in little ways. Like one of my favorite ones was the fact that in the future, his building, the orphanage, was the only building that was still there that 
that hadn't changed at all. And he lived in it. It sort of represented his heart, like where he was as a person. He was just so stuck there. Uh, he couldn't allow himself almost to just move forward and be happy, right? I think it was such a cool idea to have his own son from the future sort of guide him through that process. I think that was a really cool concept. And I think the, the reveal was a little bit obvious, right? The fact that uh, this secret character was himself, but grown up. Uh, it, I feel like that could easily be one of those things you discover earlier than I did or much later than I did, you know? I think it just depends on what you're looking for. I think even deeper than just keep moving forward. Uh, I think even in this movie, it sort of promises, right? That there's gonna be some sort of positive outcome or you're eventually gonna get it. It's a little bit, it's a little bit dark, but I think even in real life, right? What happens a lot of the time is you keep failing over and over again. And sometimes you never succeed at that thing. Sometimes you have to try something else. Sometimes you have to look into a different option or, uh, maybe, maybe this thing you thought you were cut out for, you weren't, and you need to try a hand at other things. Um, something I, I read recently is that a lot of high performing people, the most successful people, uh, people who are prepared to be the beginner, the, the, they're prepared to be the failure, I guess, in any sort of situation. They get really good at one thing, they get really proficient, but then they're prepared to just walk into a room with people who are experts and look like the idiot, if that makes sense. And it's because they're able to do that. It's because they're able to let go of their pride and their insecurities and they're able to just go, I'm, a, I'm failing right now, um, but I'm here to learn. It's those people that generally have the most success through life. And I think that's such an important message, man. <laughs> and I can see why this movie is so inspiring for so many people growing up, because it's such a visceral sort of representation of what failure can look like. It looks so morbid in some bits. Like I got secondhand embarrassment from some of the moments where he failed, right? Where, like when, you know, that those people adopting him were like, no, thank you. See you later. Like it was so sad to see and to see him fail in front of all his classmates and the professors and stuff like that. I felt so sorry for it when I was like, dang, that does suck. But it does show that even in those moments of failure and humiliation, there's opportunity for growth. And, uh, you know, I love that the Robinsons were such a encouraging family. That that moment, right, where he failed and he, he sprayed the peanut butter and jam everywhere. Uh, everyone was like, well done, you failed. And everyone was just clapping and stuff for him. That is such a healthy family environment to just be like, great, you failed keep going it's just it's so wonderful man and it's such a it's such a good sort of ideal to strive for to be like that for other people as well um yeah i absolutely loved it <laughs> i could talk about other things like the music was cool i love the futuristic scenes uh i love the whole vibe and the animation was cool i think my only criticism is that it just looks a little bit very it looks a little bit fluid um, but that's because it was one of the earlier movies they made in 3D, right? But yeah, what a crazy, wild, inspiring movie. I had a fantastic time watching this one, guys. I hope you guys did too. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.